pleasure. I'm here with Alex from Orchestral Tools. Nice meeting you, Alex. Nice pleasure. You. This is the first time you're here as well with Orchestral Tools? Yes, that's right. That's yeah. awesome. Very nice. There is a new product out there, and maybe all of you already know. Shanky XL was actually here giving a presentation, I heard as well. He was. Fortunately, I missed that. We were at another event. But uh, would you tell us about a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, Junkie XL came out for a Q&A session and I spent about an hour here just telling everyone about the library and how he works and uh, it went really, really well. Awesome. So he was actually the key inventor or they came up with the idea and you guys put it into reality. That's right. Yeah, the Junkie XL brass library and the new sign player that we have. All right. Let's have a closer look. All right. All Thank right. You. So. Looking into the sign player here, this is our brand new player, our alternative to contact. We'll be porting all of our libraries into here uh, over the next year. And we have our browser, first of all, the Junkie XL Brass Library, and a free library called Layers that you can download. Uh, the sign player is also free. Let's just open up a patch, just a double click, and we have all the, lo the articulations loaded in, there are horns. A12, you can hear a little bit of the legato. It's an incredible amount of dynamic range. We have five dynamic layers. You can actually see down here all five. And one of the amazing things about this player is you can actually disable dynamics. And your mod wheel will scale to that. So now your mod wheel will top out at Mezzo Forte here. And we can just click them back in. They'll load right back into RAM. You can also do that with round robins for shorts. We have eight round robins per short articulation. You can see them rotate. If you want to get rid of a round robin for some reason, you can disable. And it will purge from your RAM. Re-enable if you'd like. So it's very, very flexible and very easy to get to on the interface. You have legato volume adjustments per legato type here in our playable runs and then normal legato. And you can turn off legato or turn it on into any articulation. Listen to our shorts. And those are, of course, velocity sensitive. And again, the five dynamic layers. We have our rips. People tend to love those. Uh, let's open up a solo trumpet. If we go in here and look at our performance view, we have our typical view with key switching. So you can see where you are there. Uh, you can actually move your key switches anywhere. You can just drag them with a click of the mouse. You can even extend your ranges. Um, if you would like to for any sound design purposes or whatever you'd like. You also have poly mode with holding a key switch and then pressing more and they just split as much as you'd like. You can reset it. But if we split these and set it to velocity, now these articulations will trigger based on velocity. So if you have short notes, uh, you can put them in different ranges for however hard you press. So it makes performances very, very simple. In our mixer tab, we have a lot of microphones. Um, I think 16 of them, if I'm correct. And you can enable all of those however you'd like, make a mix. And then we have a mic merge button. And you can take an entire mix that would fill up quite a bit of RAM and then merge it into just one position and name it however you'd like, and it will then be a brand new mic position for you. So let's hear a little bit of the trumpet. So really, really nice sound in the kind of middle dynamic range and they can get really aggressive. Marcato longs, Marcato shorts, your rips again, and soft sustains. That again can get very aggressive. 
Uh, this also can be treated for multi-building. So if you want, say, a solo trumpet and solo horn, just click that. Now they're both loaded, and you can route however you'd like. Um, likewise, in the mixer, you can route anywhere. You have, just have drop-downs right there, all right at your fingertips. And you can clear anything you'd like, rearrange anything you'd like, assign to key switches however you'd like. Let's check out a tuba. You get all that nice bite and the top dynamic. So you really, really have a full range to play with. There are pretty much no restrictions for how big this can sound. And it fits in perfectly with the rest of our libraries that was recorded and the Teldex scoring stage, just as everything else has been pretty much. And uh, I think that's about it. One stunt, Alex. Awesome. Great sound. And I think that's what the industry needs. Some really deep, fat sound here yeah. for the brass library. That's a great job. You've done a great job, Thank all your team. Thank you. Now, price point and availability. When is it coming out? Sure. It's already available uh, on orchestraltools.com. The intro sale ends uh, Monday. So we have another day of the intro sale. Hurry. That's at $5.99. And then it will go to full price of $7.99. So definitely. If you're looking for a library, this is one to go. I'm telling you, this is really good. I'm impressed. Thank you so much. Also, check out the website here. You can see it on the screen. Awesome. Alex, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.